Oh my god. That was the loudest sound I've ever heard in my life. All right, YouTube, what's going on today? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna level with you since I'm, a, I'm an honest prophet. I got, whew, I got like a thousand subs from playing that furry game, Indigo Park. And you know, I'm sitting, I'm sitting pretty 8K. You need like a hundred subs, 100K to go full time. You know, the path to a million. There's gonna be some furry games. You know what? We, we can't ignore, we can't ignore the furry audience. Let's go. Let's play one of their games. This is called On Your Tail. I think the demo just came out today. I think it's a, a mystery game. This could actually be really good. Diana, so here's a story. She looks to be, I think a goat? My life is taking a decidedly frustrating turn. Then I decided to send everything and everyone packing and go live by the sea. Dude, hives. Ironically, I ended up packing as well. I moved to this town, Borgo Marina, and it's pretty good. Sea sun, nice people, even mysterious thefts. Speaking of which, I have a few things to do around here. You better get going. As for the theft, the victim is Mamma Lucia, the owner of the village Chatoria. I have to go talk to her to find out what happened. Mama Lucia's restaurant is located by the tunnel on the right, in the old piazza in Borgia Marina. Whoa. Trophy pasta with a side dish. Wait, what is- oh, it's a, car, a trading card. Wow. Does it, does it sort of have like a 3D effect, like a parallax effect? I think it does. It's really cool. It seems Mama Lucia's restaurant was ransacked by a thief last night. I should go have a look. Oh, is this the quest system? I'm not gonna lie. The game's kind of winning me over. To settle in, however, I was advised to visit a certain pawn. Apparently he's very sociable and can show me around. He has a photo store on the seafront beach called Foto and Foto. To get there, I have to take the tunnel on the left and exit on the seafront. Cool. I don't see why I shouldn't drop by. Pawn, are you friend? Oh no. Uh, I know what you're thinking already. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. I need- I, I appreciate your viewership. I should go to the pawn photo store, photo and photo, he can show me around the village. Cool. Alright, so we have two quests. We hold A. All these things to do when it's only a demo, I'll never go on holiday at this rate. Welcome to Borgio Marina. From now on, you can explore the town as much as you like. Cool. Follow the clue card, okay, they're clue cards. Discover the game stories you go, or take it easy exploring meeting the town's inhabitants. Trying new activities and unlocking the hidden cards. If you get lost, press LB to show a valuable summary of all the things you have to do. All right, let's see. Oh, I like the vibe. I think that's some wisteria right there. I have a wisteria plant. Are you sick? Okay, I'm guessing that's like maybe a naked mole rat. Do you have some kind of contagious disease? Did you wash your hands? I did, right before playing. So I just came back from the gym, and gyms are kind of filthy. When people don't wipe down machines, that's how you get ringworm. I feel fine, actually. I always wash my hands and only have chronolins with me. I don't know what that is. Do you sanitize it regularly, though? Yes. Okay. Primo. He's a prime example of a hypochondriac. Maybe that's why he's called Primo. <laughs> okay. So he gets a clue card too. Okay, this may be controversial. I want to invert the, the axis of the camera. Uh, is it vertical or horizontal that I want? I don't know. You reflect better when seated. What have I to do? Oh cool, I can look at my stuff. Whole day? Let's think back. This is cool. So you can like review your quests, but instead of having like a a journal or whatever, have a recollection bench. I think this is cool. I like the vibe so far. And honestly, the seafront. This is a nice stand-in for a much needed vacation. Is this Paul? Or what was his name? Pawn? 
I go this way every day, but the beauty of the piazza always strikes me as if it were the first time. I go this way. Okay. You can dialogue. You got another clue card. Now, this is a pretty game. It really reminds me of the, like, the nice Greek Mediterranean shores. Can we go in the water? Okay. It's fine. We're, we're animals. We're used to getting wet. Presumably. Do all animals swim? Okay. Mamma Lucia. Oh, it's a big bull. Good morning. I'm looking for Miss Lucia. Do you know where I can find her? Miss Lucia is very busy, feeling hopeless at the moment. Please come back later. I'm sorry. It must be because of the theft, right? How would you know? I've never seen you before in my life. Are you in cahoots with a thug? Are you here to threaten me? Like it's some gangster movie? Are you saying that because I'm an Italian animal? Actually, I don't know if I am. I crush people like you, got it. I'm here to help. Oh. Should I should I give this person a stereotypical Italian accent? I should restrain myself. I wanted to help you out. Orlando told me about the theft at your place. You could have just said so. Who's Orlando? I beg your pardon, shrimp, but since I was robbed, I just see red. <laughs> you see, you see, because she is a bull. And bulls, you know, mat matadors, red. Okay. I really like the parallax effect these cards have. It's super cool. They have depth in them. The best cook in Borgio Marina. The Villa Stratoria bears her name. Cool. Theft. Huh? What can you tell me about the theft? I wonder, are we playing as a detective or is this something I'm doing incidentally? Is this an established character? I don't know. I didn't do any research. I just saw a demo came out today with a furry character and I was like, I'm going to get that furry audience. You know what? I reserve the right to make fun of you, but I appreciate your viewership. I'll play your games, you know? What did they steal? Actually, we should probably ask what happened. I was almost finished cleaning the place up before closing when I got a telephone call. My daughter told me someone was knocking on the door so hard they almost broke it down. Daughter. That's, that's a MILF. Or, um... A BILF? Bull? I don't know. Alright, they can't all be gold. Playing it live. Giovanna is a tough cookie, but her little brother hasn't got that tough buffalo like hide like the rest of us buffaloni. <laughs> okay, so they're buffalo, actually. By the time I got back, the whole place had been ransacked. Hmm. I see. Okay, I guess that's... Is that the son? Mama Lucia left the restaurant. She, oh, her daughter. Okay, cool. A particularly convenient telephone call for the thief. What did they steal? What did they steal? It's the oddest part of the story, really. This is my place. If there was as much as a fork missing, I'd notice. Oddly, the only thing missing is that stupid ship in a bottle. A piece of junk I bought for a few pennies. If the thief had bothered to ask, I would have simply given it to him for just a few pennies. There's really no need for all that ruckus. It almost gave me a heart attack. Very strange. Can't think of anything else to ask. I'll have a look around if you don't mind. Go ahead, shrimp. Can't wait to see what you find. Now is the right time to use the grandmother's chrono lens. I don't know what this is. A strange gadget, a combination of a clock and a magnifying glass. If I concentrate, I can look through the lens. I can see into the past. Yo, we just got a significant upgrade. I thought this was like granted in reality, but everyone's animals. You know what this does remind me of though? There's this, um, I think it's a Belgium series called Tintin. They're like these cool comics about a detective reporter. And he has this one mystery where there was a secret in a ship in a bottle. Let me see. It, she just, she tells people, it lets me see how things were in the past. Holy mama's meatballs. She's got a magic magnifying glass. Okay. Find all the clue cards to complete the mystery deck. 
Use your trusty chrono lens by pressing the X button so you can spot the difference between past and present. Okay. Be sure to question the inhabitants. All right, I'm getting overwhelmed by cards. Okay, so they broke in. Well, let's let's just try it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold LT. Okay. We need to find the difference. Oh, so it's a find the difference thing. Okay. Let's let's hope I'm intelligent enough to do this. Everything tracks so far. You know, this game did have a colorblind mode. Hope that's not going to factor in. There's not going to be a color difference, is there? Okay, well, that hat. How do I mark it? Yeah, I don't quite get the system yet. Look into the chronol. Ah, some clothes fell off the hanger. Did someone move it? Okay, clue number one, hat on the ground. <clears throat> Mamma mia. Okay. Seeing another obvious difference here. Wait, 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 wait. Thought the clock moved. Can I go in here? No. Throw it away and then go in. Huh. Okay, well, wh where did the bottle get stolen from? Surely. Oh, okay, here's another difference. This was ransacked. Someone rummaged through the cupboard. Who knows what they were looking for? Okay, okay. Messy cupboard. Clue number two. Now, surely they wouldn't leave it at two. They always like nice, nice numbers. Like three. You know, Nikola Tesla wrote about the power of three. He said, if only they knew, they could understand the secrets of the universe. I swear that was... Okay, <laughs> it's the same, but it has like a, a border on it. Man, maybe I'm not as observant as I thought. This is where someone always comments on the video. And it's like, I can't believe he missed it at, you know, 1457. What an idiot. Like, bro, I have to, I have to think of witty commentary or no one's going to watch these videos. Oh, maybe, maybe there's only two clues. Maybe there's only two. It, it seems like I should be able to see the bottle. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. That was a change. A very small one, but it changed on the less. It didn't give me the clue card, though. Someone seems to have moved a chair, and the shelf seems to have something out of place. Okay. I'm doing a nice crime scene reconstruction. Okay, I think I have everything. Nice. I knew it was three clues. Okay, now you have all the clues. You can try to figure out what happened in the deduction phase. Dude, this is really in-depth. I'm surprised. Play the clue cards with... Okay. It, is this going to be like an actual card game? Complete all the goals to solve the mystery. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Every time you try, you can learn something new. Okay. The Francesc Mama Lucia's restaurant without stealing anything important. I better double check that last point. Wait. Should I have like asked her another question or something? Turn one. Whoa. See, this is kind of like um a little version of Clue. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh and Clue and Phoenix Wright. I think I'm, I'm kind of sold. I, I kind of like this. Okay. Um. So this is 
this is the most important thing, right? The telephone call seems it had to be intentional. How do I play it? She gets a telephone call and she's like, Mamma Mia, I gotta leave at the restaurant. Check mark. Turn two. Oh, so this is a chronology. Okay, I understand this more. So then I believe the hat, probably. It stands to reason. Oh, I didn't get a I didn't get a check mark on that one. Okay, well, they didn't know what they were looking for. So the first thing they well the next thing is probably the messy cupboard. Or maybe maybe not. Okay. Then chair out of place over there. Leave out the back door. To dodge Mama Lucia. Or or that. Thief poured the liqueur into the bottle with the ship. What the hell? Hmm. Shoot. Okay, so we have to get all the checks. Oh, the thief fled without being seen. Okay, so we did have to gather more information. Dude, this is really fun. Now you have all the clues, you can try to figure out what happened in the deduction phase. Play the clue cards. Okay, so we just do it again now that we have all the facts. Oh. Or we do not. Shoot. Maybe? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll edit this out if it doesn't work. Oh, I can fast forward. Okay, so what if... I do this next? Does that change things? Nice. Then... Share out a place. And then somehow... Hid under the hat. I'm, I'm putting it all together. I'm putting it all together. It's so simple. I impersonate the hat rack. Oh. I had it all backwards. Okay. That's a solve. Okay, cool. Ah, so the thief did steal something. By transferring the liquid from one bottle to another, he managed to conceal his intentions. We better tell Mama Lucia. Okay. The thief successfully sold the sin sin Sinterbe Sinterbe di Mandragora. What was that? What is that? Any news? I would say yes, but I don't know if she'll like it. That bad. It depends. Be direct. I think bulls, you should be direct with bulls. Something really was stolen, but a way you wouldn't notice it had been taken. The thief transferred the liquid from one of the bottles to... into the one with the ship in it to avoid having to carry the emptied bottle away. So I've been robbed. What could he have taken from this poor lady? The empty bottle is this one. A certain Centerbe di Mandragora. The core. Ah, is this a joke? You don't seem that upset. How would I be upset? It's just a run-of-the-mill old liqueur. That Mandragora Mandrake wine store was just a publicity stunt. It was where he'd stolen all my fine wines. A stupid thief is such a blessing, truly. Doesn't it seem like too elaborate a plan just to steal cheap liqueur? He's trying to steal some secret in the, the ship. I was so upset I forgot my manners. What's your name? Diana. Diana, it's a pleasure to meet you. You'll always be welcome here. Your next meal's on the house. Nice. Who would have said I'd solve a theft? Okay, so she's not a detective, but there's still a few things that aren't clear. Okay, best to leave the restaurant now, apparently. Where did the thief come from? How did he escape? I should continue my investigation outside.
Yeah, I'm, I'm low-key kind of loving this game. This is like... Play Noir mixed with like Animal Crossing. Mixed with Phoenix Wright, mixed with Clue. How did you get away without being seen? More importantly, where did you go? There's no fun in discovering everything at once. I need to leave something for the full game, okay? But what about, um... What about Pawn? We gotta go talk to Pawn. Giovanna. Who are you and what do you want? And no, I don't want to buy anything. I'm sorry. Mama Lucia is oldest child. She constantly listens to heavy metal on her headphones. So she's really in the groove and working shifts as a waitress. Cool. Alright, let's go talk to the cat. Piazza. Ooh, a walrus. Forgive me, miss. I didn't sleep a wink last night. So I don't really feel like talking to anyone. Can I help you? Sorry. Just knocking on random doors. I can press A on them. No one answers. Only shrill cries and deep sighs are heard. So hot. Eugenio. Or Eugenio. A young student with space problems. Very few have seen his face, but everyone has heard him complaining. He pays a jaw-dropping amount of rent to Mama Lucia. It's weird. He looks he looks kind of sus. Something about that. Good more. Peppino! Is that Peppino spaghetti from uh Pizza Tower? I like the Peppino from spaghetti. Or Peppino spaghetti better. Okay. Mariuccia. Gilberto. You're so right. Dude, there's a lot of characters in this game. Cool. I wonder if all these guys are going to have mysteries for us eventually. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Orlando. Thank you again for letting me see the night. Hmm? Good morning, Diana. It was the least I could do considering the circumstances. An old anthropology professor now retired. His stern manner makes him seem even more academic than he actually is. What do you think you'll do now? I think I'll go look for someone who can fix my Vespa. Hell yeah. Vespa? That's comfy vibes. Part of the, the ultimate vacation vibes is having a little Vespa. You have your little scarf. Just puttering around town. 25 miles an hour. A bit of a spill, I see. Normally I would suggest you go through a mechanic. Yeah. Because of an invisible wall, the damage she can't be reached. Alright. Fourth wall break. Does he look a little more... He looks a little more animal. Diana. Look how good the animations are, though. She was kind of like looking at him. Okay, she's not doing it now. But he, he looks distinctly more animal. I think it's the creepy goat eyes. Bruna. Good morning, miss. Looking for something? No, ma'am. I was just knocking on random doors. Solitary woman. Okay. Snores so loud she knocks plaster off her neighbor's walls. She's got a bit of that sleep apnea. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna edit that out, obviously, but I just had to, I had to answer the doorbell and sign for a package. I knocked my green screen down on the way out and uh, did not have time to take off my ceremonial robes. So I don't know if I'm getting packages delivered to my house anymore. That was rough. That was rough. All right, this is where we came from, right? Also, I should state right now, the Doom Prophets have no blood rituals. Nothing weird. Oh, man. This is gorgeous, though. You know what? I would pay... I would pay good money to be here. I'd pay top shelf dollar. Look at... Oh. Gorgeous. I need a vacation. Beach. <laughs> Okay, what a mystery. <laughs> Little sandcastle? 
Uh, attract to play marbles? I'd like to have a game, but I need someone to play with. Okay, requirement. They like being at the beach. Wait, marbles at the beach? Is that... Is that a beach tradition that's common? I've, I've never done that. Never heard of that done either. Do marbles even roll on sand? Kind of... I think those are called catamarans? Okay. Is this pawn? Let's see, what is that? I think it's a bunny. Good morning, are you open by any chance? There's a lady standing at the counter. Gemma, oh, it's definitely a bunny. Sure, come along, do you need anything? Oh, good morning. Forgive the surprise. You're not from around here, are you? Actually, no, she's looking quite sheepish. I think she's a goat, though. No, actually, welcome. Call me Gemma. What's your name? Pleased to meet you. My name's Diana. Gemma. M mother of Lumen, Mia, Meadow's wife. Wow. Holds a degree in natural science, naturally. You know, I didn't really get mother looking at this picture, but I I've heard of the copulation prowess of rabbits, so I I'm not going to question it. A cough. Wait. I don't have any money. I just wanted to have a chat. I think I'll go walk for now. How cute. How cute. See ya. Wait. Oh, wait, I just had a vision. Those are changing stations, aren't they? Wait, no, they they wouldn't. You betrayed me, game! You were you were classy. We played We played Phoenix right Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, God damn, though, what is that goat dump truck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you better click off this video. You better click off this video or the algorithm's gonna know. You better click off this video right now. It's not too late. You can be saved. Oh no. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this for YouTube money. You're doing this for free. There's still time. There's a dark path ahead of you. You know what, let's get the Baywatch angle since we're here. What's the Baywatch song? Oh my goodness. All right. You're still in this video, aren't you? You are. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll, pl I'll play the rest of the rest of the game in this outfit, but you better be down there. Like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> Dude, this game was, it was, it had me in the first half. It really did. I was like, okay, this is actually just a classy game. Would you look at that? Oh, there's no portrait. Thank God. Whew. A fishing rod. Yoink? Wait, so... There's a fishing minigame, huh? There is! Yeah, this is... This is Animal Crossing. How come... Oh. How come some animals are like... They have consciousness. But a fish does not? We still eat fish? I'm, I'm pretty sure she's a goat. Okay, wait. Goats are herbivores, are they not? Okay. Oh. Did I scare the fish off? Do you have to cast the lure, like, further away? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm instantly a master at this. Whoa. Dude, is that... Is that fish me? <laughs> What the hell has got my colors and my symbol? <laughs> what? That's so weird. Why do these coincidences keep happening? Was it more a eel? No. I don't want to have that shitty animal as my... Oh my god, dude, I thought... Dude, for a second, I thought her tail was like a cutout of the swimsuit. And I was like... Ugh. 
I can't post this on YouTube. God damn, dude. How long did they spend modeling that... That goat dump truck? What? <laughs> you better be like liking, commenting, subscribing right now. I do this for the... The road to one million subs is paved with big furry dump trucks. Oh my god. Alexua. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello. Dude, he's like, put some clothes on, woman. Do not scare the fish. This guy is terrifying. I, I can't turn the card. Yeah, maybe he's like... He's shy. Please, don't scare the fish away. I would never talk to a guy like that alone. Oh, I'm supposed to bring the guy. Okay. Do you know what's weird, though? The, the lack of feet. That... That sounds weird in a vacuum, but I don't... That, that looks weird. The hooves. That, that is creepy to me. Best to change before leaving the beach. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I can't play the rest of the game. In furry Baywatch mode. I did try. I did try for you. Back to decency. Does she have the same model? I swear she's not... She's not as thick, dude. <laughs> someone, someone pop those in Blender. They're like, hmm. They increase the circumference of the hips by... 200,000 polygons. That's very curious. <sighs> photo and photo. Alright, this is the boy. Pawn. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. You must be Pawn, right? Hey, this is the first time a stranger recognized me when I haven't had a clue who they are. You're not from the future, are you? No, but I, I can see the past, apparently. I wish Mr. Orlando told me about you, that's all. You see, I just got here yesterday, and I have to admit I'm a little lost. As a matter of fact, me too. Not often you see a new face around here. He's lost or he's new? You don't know my name, but I don't know yours. Right, I'm Diana. Nice to meet you. I know this might seem a little unexpected, but... Yes. Would you like to go for a walk? I'd love- wait, what? She's hitting on him? Oh, no, no, no. He's a tour guide. He's a tour guide. God. <laughs> Any excuse to go for a stroll is good enough for me. An excuse for a stroll is even better. The store will be fine without me. Whatever you want, just let me know and we'll go. Borgio Marina. Photography, cooking, and chemistry. Cool. Come with me. Of course, let's go. On the tour guide. Summon happens to the Borgia Marine will help during your adventures. Explore the village. Oh, cool. Friendship level and unique memory cards. That's that's more or less confirmed there's dating in the game. Let's be real. Oh, they can help with the investigation. Oh, we should have brought him along. Okay, so we probably did the game out of order. I actually love this, though. Like, if he can comment on stuff... We can get like unique perspectives. I love when games do that. Gentil, yes. Hello. My name's Dan. I just arrived. Hello, miss. Forgive me. But you're cleaning off from around here. Have you informed the authorities you're residing here? What? Huh? <laughs> just here to domicile. Find a job. I'm here for a short time. What? Is, what's up with this dude? That rough touch would be a perfect deal with my brother Severo. Rough touch. Stick around. Huh. Gentil Zampa. I kind of wanted this guy to say something, though. I really like it in games where you can get unique dialogue by, like, bringing the guy with you. Or, like, bringing characters with you. Alright, so obviously we're supposed to do the racing thing. Marbles. So how do we how do we race these marbles? I was mostly dragged around to create trails, but for me that was the most fun. 
Dude, this guy. This guy got childhood drama. Tried to turn it into a character trait. Fancy a friendly game. All right, let's go. Marbles. Oh, there's the character portrait of this, the swimsuit. There, there it is. It's classy, I guess. <laughs> Might be a bit rusty. Okay. This is a track for marbles. First player to cross the finish line wins. Cool. Challenge a rival by taking turns. Wait, knocking marbles? Aim. Wait, so this is not a race? Cutting across the track is allowed. Why not how far each other can take you? What? Oh. Dude, I thought this would be a race. Can I can I see like the track? It's golf? Okay, well, I've played a ton of those Steam golf with friends games, so I think I'm solid. Oh yeah, pawn. I'm... I'm an entire three centimeters in front of you. It's ogre. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I can ship it over this corner. I'm just that good. Yes. Oh. Okay. He's he's a local. He knows what he's doing. No, the, the camera. Okay. We're gonna have to take a shot in the dark. Okay, I think he's in a bad position though. I think I'm going to play it relatively safe. Just go straight down track. Oh. 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 What do you think? I think we have to risk it all. I'm pretty sure that's... Can't see. I think that's... That's the finish line, right? Let's go! I'm actually the best. I haven't played marbles for years. Fun. Oh yeah. I didn't think I was gonna win. I'm glad you liked it. This is my favorite beach game, along with skipping stones. If you wanna play another game together before you leave, just come and call me. Cool. Next stop on the Borgia Marina tour, I suggest a coffee. So is he talking about where the bunny was? Okay. Good morning, geh. On. Hello. You won't believe it. Let me introduce you. <laughs> Hello to you too, Diana. We know each other. Yes. I came by earlier. Can I get you? Uh, you pain pawn? What brings you to Borja Marina? A traffic accident as soon as I got here. Oh, you poor thing. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm okay. I can't say the same for my Vespa, though. No, the Vespa's crushed? Okay, it's being repaired. When it's repaired, I'll leave. Me and Alpon is giving me a tour of the village. I see. I want to leave so soon. Oh, your coffees are ready. Thank you. <laughs> Who's gonna pay? Is that what that was? Thank you. How much do I have for the coffee? Nothing. It's on the house. Whew. You're so kind, Gemma. Then, unfortunately, I have to go back to the store for a moment. It was a pleasure to be your guide. Okay, that was it. I I saw all two of those locations by myself. Theft solved. Walk with pond done. I think I can relax now and enjoy what's happening in Borgo, Borgo Marina. Okay. Well, is that it? Or should I? The On Your Tail development team sends a heartfelt thanks for playing the game. We can't wait for you to join us in Borgo Marina. Very cool.